Hi everyone, I am Tushal Matu from Synopsis. In this video, I am going to talk about how to integrate AXI VIP and UVM test bench. So first step is where you need to include VIP specific files and packages in your test bench. That's what's shown over here, like include, first is a UVM package which is why you are, because you are using UVM, if you already have it somewhere in a test bench, you can skip it part. And the next is the AXI interface file. And the next is SVT, which is a base class of the VIP, uh, that UVM specific package of the VIP. Now, now that you have included the packages, you need to import those packages in your test bench. So here are the steps. Uh, where how you import the packages in your test bench uh, inclusive of UVM package you need to import the AXI base class package which is the SVT UVM and then the AXI specific VIP package SVT AXI UVM so once you have uh, completed the inclusion and import the first step comes as after that is to configure the VIP as per your DOT configuration and here is how you do it so you extend the SVT AXI system configuration create your own class and within that you give different uh, programmable uh, configuration fields to the VIP which are like a data width, address width and like uh, other characteristics of the DOT which you need to match with the VIP configuration so once you have configured the created the configuration class which is matching your DOT, now you need to instantiate the VIP component which will suck that configuration and start uh, expand it into the those number of uh, master and slave. So that's where AXI system ENV you will instantiate and create an object of the configuration class which you did it in previous step and then pass it using UVM config DB that configuration to the respective AXI system ENV. And finally, here you need to create an interface instance and pass it to the wrapper file which will be connecting those interface signals to your DOT ports. And based on whether you have create, uh, configured VIP active or passive, if you configured it's passive, you are all set to go from this step right away. If you have configured it in active mode, you still need to go and create your own sequence or use the VIP sequence and set it for those master or the slave agents based on which one are uh, stimulus, which one are responses. For more information uh, on VIP, you can go to www.synopsis.com/vip. Thank you.